Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. How are you all? Please let me know in the below comment section. So in this video, I'm so excited to share with you all about my Bhutan trip with family and friends. So this trip is eight days and seven nights. So I'm dividing the trip into three parts. So this will be the first part. We started our journey from Bangalore airport, and the destination will be Bagdodra airport. So from my place to airport it is 40 minutes so we took up the cab and we reached airport within 30 minutes because there was no much traffic for my good luck. After check-in we had a lot of time to roam around so we decided to do some window shopping and we were taking a lot of snaps with family and friends. And yes, we are in Bagdodra right now. And this is how the Bagdodra airport looks. After collecting our luggages, we were waiting for the cab. As per the trip plan, we were supposed to get two Innovas and one Wagonart, but it didn't work out as per the plan and a lot of time got wasted there. And finally, we got TT. Then we had our lunch in some of the good restaurants there. And then we started our journey. From Bagdodra to Bhutan border, that is Punshiling, it is around 174 kilometers and via coming through road we capture some of the beautiful places and this is one of them uh, and uh, actually if you see through eyes it is so beautiful rather than capturing in the camera but I tried my best to show you guys how it actually look and yes, we finally reached the border, that is the Bhutan border, entrance of Bhutan to Punchaling. And we reached the hotel where the room was booked, that is Bhutan Residency. And this is how the room looked. It is a quick room tour. So it was told that morning we have to get up and get ready by 7 o'clock. So we had our dinner soon and then we went to sleep. We were totally tired and this is how the day one got ended. Hey guys, happy morning. It's 5.30 in the morning in Bhutan and today is day two. So it's a long day again. So we'll be going to Timpu. So while going to Timpu, we'll be going to many places in between. So let us see how it goes and journey is again like six hours so there is also a dress code you should not wear any shorts or skirts like that so the guy told we have to be ready by 7 30 7 o'clock is our breakfast and yes and now it is 5 30 and i think it's high time to get ready so this is how it looks outside the window it was not just that great view but still it is fine for one night so after getting ready we headed to have our breakfast so for breakfast we had banana we had cornflakes we had bread toast and tea
after having our breakfast we had like few minutes of time so we sat in cafeteria itself talking to each other and these are the group of people which we went together it was a great group So this was the entire hotel view from outside. So after this we went to the immigration center. So there were a lot of people, lot of tourists who came to take the permit. So we were actually the lucky people who got the permit to ro- roam around the Bhutan because we heard that few travelers that like tourists didn't get the permission to roam in Bhutan. So after all this permit and all we decided to walk to the place where we stayed last night so all our luggages were ready and this was the mini bus which we had hired to roam in bhutan so to say about this bus i really liked it it was so clean and very spacious it was like 20 seater and we were 18 members in the group so i think this bus is really nice Now we are heading towards Timpu which is the capital city of Bhutan. While going we saw this beautiful nature. It is completely a hill station and it was so cold outside. You can't even imagine how cold it was. It was damn cold and there was completely mist all around. It was like amazing, very amazing. I can't even explain from my words how it was. So finally we were like all hungry and this was the restaurant which we stopped to have our lunch. On the way we came across this beautiful waterfalls filled with fog completely and it was amazing. I ro- really loved this place and you know I can't able to explain you how beautiful and how happy I was when I came to this place. the water was very clear and it was ice cold i thought i'll go in plain water but seriously you can't even touch the water it is that cold On the way while we were traveling we found this very beautiful place by this you will get to know we are in a very highest peak and this was little bit dangerous to stand and there was also a waterfall next to the road itself and by this time my mom was totally mad at me because i was standing at the edge of the road to take the video and pics Finally we reached Timpu and this was the lobby of that hotel. We were all waiting for the room keys.
After waiting for a while, we got our keys for the respective rooms, and this is a small room tour. This is a kitchen. In front of a kitchen, there is a toilet. It didn't make any sense for me, and this is a living area. This is something like two BHK. It consists of a living area and two bedrooms, and one of the bedroom is having a balcony. So this bedroom is having a balcony. and i didn't want to show balcony at this point of time because it was dark outside and as well as so cold so i decided like i'll show you the balcony tomorrow morning and this is the second room which is quite big compared to the room which i showed you previously and they didn't provide any room heater after freshena we came to cafeteria to have our dinner so all the items were vegetarian except the one so if i have to say about the taste wise it was pretty good and this is how the day 2 got ended and hope you liked watching this video and please do like and subscribe my channel and also stay tuned to watch the next two part of this trip and till then take care bye bye